sugary sweet. Damn. Now this is a shooting game. Welcome back to Otaku Daikun. I've gotten into a new gacha game, Nike Goddess of Victory. <laughs> it is the best shooter I have ever seen, and you will see why. Yes, it's a gacha game, but it is fantastic, and it's beautiful, and it's fun. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, these visuals are phenomenal. Live 2D has really elevated um, these anime mobile games and just anime graphics in general. It's so beautiful. <laughs> You're not supposed to just do that. Isn't that supposed to be to like regulate your heartbeat rather than start it up when it's stopping? I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. The character is an amnesiac here, but only slightly. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> it's very different than Ark Knights, where the dude's like, I don't even know who I am. But it is very similar in the way that it starts, isn't it? A lot of this game is voice acted. You can put it in Japanese and English, which is pretty freaking cool. Can you do it? I can do it. Especially when you put the button there of all places. <laughs> this whole thing of like anime soldiers that are like super Omega Waifu is is fun. I think they look really cool. I know it's a fantasy, but come on. I will protect you, I promise. Ooh, the battle system. Okay, we got some tutorial. You swipe to aim, which you wouldn't think would be all that intuitive, but wow, <laughs> wow. And um, yeah, a lot of people have controversy with the butt. <laughs> Let's set the game where the camera is positioned, but it basically Anita Sarkeesian's absolute nightmare. Wow, that's weird. Food just came in, ignore that. <laughs> Take him out. I love this sort of like on rails style, like uh, Time Crisis. It's like those old school arcade games, but way the heck sexier. Each match goes until you see one of these uh, big boss buddies. When you kill him, the mission's over, or the, the fight is over, I guess. Take him out! Right now, this is a tutorial, so it's pretty easy. Kaboom! <laughs> nice. Absolutely awesome. Strategy, it's so beautiful. Live 2D is fantastic. Uh, my leg. My leg. I suppose you could say that. Hurt. Or rather, malfunction. So Nikes are like machines and people at the same time. They're machines built to look like people. So you have to question whether or not they uh how much they have feelings like people. Whether their simulated emotions are there or not. Of course, if we were building war machines, we probably wouldn't make them waifu. <laughs> but you know what? Don't think about it. Don't think about it. All right. <laughs> so the enemies will attack you. You see the little red thing counting down. That's when they'll shoot. That's why you gotta let go and take cover, or you'll get hit like I just did. Oh, oh. <laughs> God damn it. It can get really hard to tell when you're getting hit by certain projectiles, because it's so, everything goes really fast. Which is, I guess, a good thing that they're machines and not people, because they'd be filled with holes by now. Reality sucks. Embrace fiction. <laughs> just don't forget that it is fiction. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I love it. Okay, those little cut-ins are cool. Right there, I think they put more work into those cut-ins than a lot of the noble phantasms in FGO. I'm not trying to diss on FGO, I'm just saying that there's a reason why these like new mobile games are really uh, kicking off. 
See, that guy's easy to tell when he's shooting at you. And he's destroying my cover, so that's like my defense. So either you're behind cover taking the hit there, or you're taking it directly to the face. And that's how the health is balanced in this game. It's very much an RPG. Moving. Encounter. Little chibis on the maps here. How long are we going to wait here? Oh, hello! Until they come. Very pretty. Although, uh, no Rappy's no hair is like floaty all Medusa style. It's like got a life of its own. <laughs> Anis, however, is quite cute. Of death. Are you really the if they had an eye tracker for this game, I would lose Excuse instantly. Commander identification code red. <laughs> yes, I am the commander. I belong to Silver Gun. I'm a machine gunner. It checks out. The different Nikkeis belong to different manufacturers, which is interesting. It's kind of like a class, but not quite. Not like in FGO where it's like Lancer or Saber or anything like that. Yes, Commander. But it does affect certain things. They also have elements. And so the elements you would pick based on, you know, setting up the right party comp to take out your enemies. And now we can switch out Nikes. Well, not really switch, but you choose which one you're controlling and seeing the battle from. The other two will keep firing on their own discretion. But it's good that, you know, you can uh, choose where. Rocket launchers or whatever, grenade launchers, whatever you want to call them. Um, you hold it down to charge it up. And then you release to fire, which is pretty cool. God, this music is awesome. It's seriously addicting. Like, the gameplay is addicting, not the gotcha stuff, thankfully. I guess that could always be its own problem, and what are you gonna do? The rates here kinda suck. Admittedly. I had to do a lot of re-rolling to get the party that I want. Now they're talking about doing a burst combo. Each Nikkei is assigned either one, two, or three. And they have a role in a three-way combo. <laughs> three-way. But, um, yeah. So you pick one with one, and then you go on to whoever is assigned to two. Do another kick-ass animation here. Hell yeah! And then when you do the third... You can go into, like, a special mode where everything takes more damage for a couple seconds. This stuff's all based on a cooldown timer. Full basto! Mm-hmm. Different Nikkeis have different specials, such as putting up shields versus launching big attacks. Or taking aggro. You don't look so good. I don't know what it is, but I feel a bit. Let me do some maintenance. Take off your top. <gasps> what? Right here? Is there a problem? No. Oh, what I mean is, the commander is right there. <laughs> you don't actually think the commander sees you that way, do you? Uh, um, uh, no. no. Not, no, no, not, not I. I am pure. Do not bonketh me. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> How could you not? Yeah, there's no way anyone would design these Nikkeis without a libido. Just gonna say. It doesn't mean they can't be kick-ass. 
Just means that they're also people of culture. In the event of a malfunction, it is required that we conduct the necessary repairs. This isn't an option. I see. Good. All right, Commander. Please turn the other. Oh. Lame. Everything seems okay. I told you. Let's keep going. No hey, bullet in the tit. That. that would be exceptionally painful. Just kidding. <sighs> or so I would imagine. So there are like generic Nikkei's right here that they're giving us for the tutorial, and these are what you get when your scratches don't go so well. Or your whatever the fuck you want to call it, the gotcha. Snipers are good for distant enemies, but they're kind of slow. I almost feel like they should be a bit more powerful to compensate for the lack of times they shoot. Even the generic Nikkei look pretty cool, I admit. But they have no personality, which is a bit dis disappointing. I think this chick right here is probably the coolest one of the generic Nikkei's. Because you can at least see like her cool little ponytail thing hanging out the back and some of her face. Others are just completely covered with a helmet. Some damage to the left clavicle, heavy damage to the lower right projector. What's a projector? The left eye caused by a stray bullet. No irregularities in identifying targets. Overall damage rate is 17.05%. Still combat capable. Damn, 17%. That sucks. Are you sure that's not too high? It doesn't matter. We're almost there. Let's pick up the pace. No. Commander? I'm gonna go all full sentiment Commander, and slap a band-aid on there. That kind of thing is useless to an EK. No, it works. It has psychological value. It feels like I'm being healed. They're people, goddammit. The mm, it's kind of weird how they uh have personalities, but then get treated like machines. So get the little chibis on the map. Moving. Pick up items as you go. A nice way to organize the fights. And it incorporates side quests and extra battles and all sorts of cool stuff. I finished analyzing the black box from the transport ship. Huh. I'm sending you the report. Black box technology. <laughs> Basically means we don't know what the hell's in it. Oh. Laura? Stop right there. Roger. You shot down the transport ship. What? Yes, it does. What? What do you mean, yes, it does? Explosions inside the conveyor. Was that the voice acting fucked up? Caused by the explosives meant for this operation, which would never go off without an external detonation signal. That detonation signal originated from you, Marion. You killed them. Yes, it does. What are you trying to achieve? That's so weird. Why didn't the line match the subs? Start talking. Or else I'll put a bullet between your eyes. We're here. We're here. Huh. We're here. Uh 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 oh. Uh. Okay, so maybe that's what that was about. <laughs> oh no. God damn it. Uh, when the enemy possesses you, it sucks. Or whatever you want to call it. Over here. <laughs> God damn it! Ugh, that's creepy. That's creepy. Tentacles? No! We gotta save her! This scene would probably be a lot cooler in an anime form. I don't need to know the odds. Don't tell me the odds. Okay, Han. The bosses in this game are pretty damn epic. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, so you can shoot off their weapons, which is nice. So you can stop the number of attacks coming your way. Huh. 
cover. You can actually stop the missiles. That's nice. Although it took forever just to shoot down one. Oh, fuck. Wow, that was close. God, this music's awesome. It reminds me of Ruby music, honestly. If you don't shoot these rings in time, they'll hit you with a strong attack, which sucks. Worst time ever to be reloading. Or you can tell them to just hide. And that tells your whole party to hide. God, those missiles don't die quick. Why? Why me? Oh no! <laughs> that was cool. Mission clear! Oh! Anime cutscene, hell yeah! Even FGO doesn't do this. It's a rather interesting aspect ratio though. The whole game plays vertically on phones and tablets, though if you cheat it with blue stacks, you can um, get it to play in a widescreen mode, which is pretty cool. I'm not doing that here because I want to enjoy the game, I guess, as that's meant to be played. Oh no! God damn it. No. This is bad. There's nothing worse than a, a loss of a waifu. <sighs> it's like executing zombies and stuff like that, or people infected by the zombies. It's like they've already been taken. That sure looks like a dude's hand, though. I guess so. Maybe it is implied we're a man. Just get in close. I should do it. Or the flattest woman in this entire game. We Nikes cannot execute our own kind. Dems against the rules. Isaac Asimov said so. She will probably become an irregular soon. They look way different in the cutscene here than they do in their live 2D art. Oh, that is so fucking sad. No! But she's so cute. No! Thank you for your bandage. Uh. It's interesting, most of its leg is just like one giant, like tube running through the body and then the rest is just the frame. Okay, so the tutorial's having us do some recruitments, aka gotchas. Let's see how this shit works. They like to make it nice and fancy so you feel empowered. Taking that shaft and uh, ramming it in. <laughs> You can tell if your role is any good right at that screen. I got one SSR. Ooh, Delta's cute, though. She's regular SR. They don't get any fancy, like, burst animations, though. Eh. I do like me some Delta, though. She cute. She tomboy. Ooh, okay, who's our SSR? Guillotine. She's supposed to be a Chunibio. Nice oh, Ani's cool. Now we got her outside the story. It's so weird she's an SR. And then you get generic fodder for a lot of it. Don't you know? Oh, hello, Mihara. Meh. Nah. I guess they still, you know, there's still some TNA to be had with them. If that's what you're into. I'm so glad they had the balls to release this game. 
did it start? Dude. Look at that. We don't just get CGs. We get these cool, like, motion vignettes here, man. That's dope. Again, no shade on FGO, but I also want to admire how pretty this is. Well. Ah. Uh, now we're back at Arcs. That concludes my report. There was some foul play, perhaps, as to why she got corrupted. That's not supposed to happen. All in a single day. I would, however, like to meet this commander. Make an appointment for this afternoon. Is this a promotion? Did I do good? I got a main menu. I did a lot of re-rolling for this game to get the good waifu. I still don't have everyone I want, but damn. Folkvang is a sweaty goddess. You can view their uh, attack animations from in the menu here. For uh, research purposes. <laughs> Sugary sweet. Damn. Now this is a shooting game. How could I not get addicted to this? I love a good meal. What about you? <laughs> she can't stop snacking on the gerb. What's our experiment for today, number seven? That's Lena Invoices, old school actress from Central Park Media back in the day. And also the voice of Amy Rose. Lisa Ortiz, that's who it was. I'll go scout up ahead. Yeah, she's hot as fuck. She's a sniper. I don't know what KPI stands for. She reminds me of Bazette. I like that. We got a Gyaru. What a stylish gun. She got big ol' scythe that turns into a gun. So that's, that's very Ruby-like. She cute. Are you wearing pants? No. Good job. <laughs> I am Guillotine de Mephisto, the guardian of balance. Yep, Junibios. They love their eye patches. Like again, if their hair goes down that long, it is pretty. But does it defeat the point of this game? Care for some strawberry candy? Her whole gimmick is strawberry candy. Although there's more to it than it leads on. Commander, how about you, Uni, and I have some fun? But we just got started. That's a big old coat. Yeah, it just covers everything up. Oh, generics. Meh. Nice, you can text them. Have little uh, chat conversations. This is very much like Persona. Now, that doesn't mean I want to compare every RPG to Persona, but that's literally a specific mechanic in Persona. <laughs> I swear I'm not comparing everything to Persona. That's what bad reviewers do. Huh? Huh? What are you, old man? Nice to meet you all. I'm Anderson. Uh. Deputy Chief of the Central Government Command. We can dispense with the formalities. Address me however you wish. Mr. Anderson. Mm. Like nails on a chalkboard. Well, now you know how Neo feels, bruh. I called you in today because I wanted to conduct a little test. A little test? You can relax. They don't believe I was strong enough to actually do what I did. 
I suppose I have time to answer one question. Just one. So she was in the Ark and got corrupted, which is supposed to be impossible. Which implies there's foul play. Marion? Doesn't ring a bell. Oh yes, the other Nike who fought with you, right? I heard she was destroyed. I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I have nothing for you. Uh. We're conducting an investigation into the operation as we speak. The only thing we are certain of is that the Aegis barriers are impenetrable. I don't believe you. Now, if you don't mind, it happened. I have other business to attend to. Hey, bitch. Stand up and tell that to my face. Let's say someone did corrupt one of your Nikes. Maliciously. Let's say they were so powerful that you wouldn't stand a chance against them. Tell me. What would you do? I would pee on their lawn. Oh? You'd make them pay. Is that it? Oh, yeah. What could a mere commander like you possibly do? Um, cancel them on social media. Too bad. I'm on a tight schedule. This is where I'll be putting your combat skills to the test. Oh, yeah? Commander, what is this all about? Having our combat skills tested after a mission? I've never heard of this. They don't believe us. They usually do this sort of thing beforehand. No chit chat when I'm talking. She's kind of a hard ass, isn't she? Next, you will face a battle simulation in the simulation room. I can tell you, you'd better not be lax and think that it's just a simulation. Sure. The simulation room is the Ark's pride and joy. You can experience combat in reality here. Before we begin the training, I need to know your squad name. Tell be me like, what product do you use in your hair to make it so floaty? Name confirmed. Counters? I didn't name myself Counters. I would have named myself Dice Posse like I did in Persona. <laughs> the tutorials kind of suck in that regard. They tell you what you can do, but not necessarily why you would do it. Because you have to find that out the hard way. Although she's cute, you get your own little, like... I don't know, receptionist for the tutorial? Or for the simulator. Request difficulty. Yeah. Well, now we got our new waifu in battle. Hell yeah. She's a shotgun. It makes so much sense. Her whole deal is she sweats a lot. Dude, this music is so dope. Okay, you can't shoot that bullet. Ooh, butterflies. Was that healing? Believe it. Really? A complete and utter disaster. You serious? Really out on the field. I like they wiped the floor the with them though. Minutes. We have plenty of missions to send them on. Take your pick. She sounds so pissy all the goddamn time. Take so, your pick. Uh. This one should do the trick. What a good little doggy you are. <laughs> 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 <You're your master. laughs> <laughs> I'll be your doggy. That was out of line. You level up all at the same time. This is an extra mission? Holy shit. Hell yeah. Okay. This is nifty. Alright, let's try to shoot the missiles. Um, oh fuck. Oh, yes, protect us with your shields. God, that's awesome. That is so badass. Oh shit. My cover's going away like crazy. What the hell? Oh, what? Oh shit. She's already dead. God damn it. Um. Okay, well now I can't do burst skills. Because you need from, uh, someone from 1, 2, and 3 to pull it off. Oh, 
Oh, shit. You know what? God damn it. I just realized this thing has 10 health bars. I guess that's similar to FGO also, but rather daunting in this case. What the hell, man? Aren't I at the beginning of the fucking game? Oh, God. Bye bye Oh, no. Shit. I don't even know what you're supposed to do about that. So yeah, even if you take cover, it won't save you forever. It's basically like your first HP bar is the cover. I'm resigned to my fate, I suppose. Oh, no! Yeah, there's no way you can survive that. Shit, what the hell? Okay, what was wrong? Uh, what is that? Fixed at level 80. Oh, shit. Well, I'm only like level 40. That would explain it. So this is how a regular fight, a real fight, is supposed to go when the game is, you know, when you're at the right level. That always helps. It's like, yeah, you can get hit a little, but it won't friggin' murder you. I love these cut-ins. You have to turn them on in the settings, otherwise it only shows you at the first time, which is like... Extremely lame. Like, why? I get it. People are like rushing the gacha, but st or not rushing the battles, but still. Oh, another cutscene. If there aren't any people living here, how come it smells so bad? Because it's a drain pipe. Uh. All sorts of stuff builds up in here over time. Guys, what is it? I think I'm gonna throw up. Then turn off your olfactory sensor. You can do that? Oh my gosh. I, I wish people could do that. that. When you feel like throwing up, you just turn it off and be like, nope. Serious, it's like, I get it. If you need me to throw up, sure, but just don't make me feel so miserable about it. Well, good for you. As for me, I'm turning mine off. Commander, are you alright? Ooh, baby. I'm just peachy. Hey, watch what you say when you're behind me. You're in my line of fire if you know what I mean. Does that mean you're gonna fart on me? I never thought we'd be sneaking in through a dream. Most commanders Did you think I was saying something sexual? So they prefer using It was just the word peachy. <laughs> you're dirtier than I am. Lazy to come up with any other kind of plan. Oh? <laughs> Did I just get a face full? Yes! 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 I wouldn't say it doesn't matter. Well, I just said it smelled bad. Is that because I'm in the line of fire? See, I don't get what you're trying to say with that lady. It's your butt. It's your butt. Shifty, confirm the escape route. Pew! Engaging. Commander, get behind me. Don't have to tell me twice. R Reppy! Damn you, scum! Oh, shit. Her head falls off? What the hell? Dude. Hey, I thought we were getting shot all the time and our heads weren't popping off. Or your heads weren't popping off. Oh god. Well shit, I hope she's not dead. Dude! Another epic fucking boss battle, holy shit, I love this. Dude, I love this! This is such a good design for a mobile game to kind of do like arcade style shooting. Like House of the Dead type stuff too. She's so pretty! Hell yeah!
The game's got a full-on auto battle, but that's kind of lame. I, I wouldn't use that. Maybe if it gets supremely grindy. I know I wanted to do that for FGO for a while. Boom! Especially because you don't gain experience through your basic fighting. Battle complete. She'll be fine. Really? We're almost there. We're going to run from here. Watch out for any Like we glue her head back on? I mean she is a robot, I guess. Commander, run! Uh. So long as we have a phoenix down. Go! Come on! Okay. Okay. Master, here. Please carry this for us. Well, that's Please nice. You can just movement. rebuild your waifu. Assuming their mind's not corrupted. You are hereby banished. What? What did I do? My orders were for you to investigate the power station. Not destroyed. Ah, uh, well, Thanks to your little it's not my fault there was a giant monster boring its way through the tunnels there. Probably would have gotten destroyed on its end. On its own, rather. Come on, dude. Come on. Two months. Those resources could have supported the entire arc for two Yeah, but it wasn't your power station anymore. Now it's all been flushed down the drain. Thanks to you and those Nikkeis. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, it was fun. No. Nothing you say. Then why did you ask, asshole? As of today, you and your squad are to be driven out of the Ark and banished to the outpost. So the Ark is an underground base where humans are living, kind of like the Geofront, because all the raptors have taken over the world up top on the surface. So he's sending us out into uh, the barren wastelands, basically. Wait, that's the outpost? It sounds so chipper and awesome. This is an upgrade, yo. I like this. Huh. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, you can see the little chibis. It's so cute. We have a dormitory. That's not bad. goods and military rations over in here. They're about to expire, though. Ew. Oh. If rations are about to expire, God, how long has it been? In the corner over there, it seems. Go pee in the corner. Seriously? We can't do without a bathroom. Do they at least give you a toilet? I don't know what that means. Okay, then you can't flush, so never mind. But wait, you're you're a robot. You don't need to pee, do you? You eat? Why would you bother building a metabolism into a, a weapon? It just sounds like a waste of time. I guess. Oh, really? Perfect. You're not all gonna sleep in the bed with me? This place is massive. I could run laps in here. Well, my room's better than your room? Well What's a sofa doing in here anyway? The sofa is for fornication. Duh. There's a reason only I have the running water. So you come to me. Harem rules number one. Hoard the bathroom. To be like this. <laughs> Going back to what I wanted to say earlier. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make it clear that we Nikes are not humans. Sure look like them. We are weapons. Sure act like them. You weapons. feel like them. You just got metal instead of flesh at some parts. It's common practice for Nikkei to come back with a new appearance after being severely damaged. Well, that's cool. I wish I could come back with a new appearance sometimes. If I could, I'd probably have an appearance like yours. Hot damn. Hot diggity damn. 
I mean, you bounce like people. Use people. That you treat us with human dignity. Get some side missions for all of your Nikkeis. Sweaty girl. <gasps> what? Rumani? Why the fuck weren't you on the gotcha list? Oh my god. Oh my god. We need her now. I need her now! Damn. Gym girl, she's got to be playable. She's got a belt full of bullets and a machine gun on her back. Or are those shotgun shells? I don't know. I want her. Krumani. She doesn't even show up in a Google search. What the hell? I can be a whale, baby. So in order to stop sweating so profusely, this robot is eating nutritional supplements in excess, which makes no sense to me at all. I'll take this chance to address the fact that I think this game was rumored to be censored, but as you can see, it is clearly not. So I would definitely want to support this game over other games by that principle alone. They know exactly what they're making, they know exactly who they're making it for, and I'm going to support them in that, because it's fun. Hey. Hey. What took you so long? Hey, cutie. To keep guests waiting. I like your fashion sense. You think I've got nothing better to do than sit around waiting for you? I don't know. Me? I? <laughs> you really don't know who I am? Oh, that's rich. I don't know. Boy, oh boy. What kind of rubbish is the military? It's kind of dope that you get a tattoo on your thigh like that. Didn't they teach you anything over there? And this is Siren, CEO of Missilis Industry, one of the big three. Okay. So you make some of these hotties? Well, I know where your style comes from now. What? Might as well ask her why my waifu from before got corrupted. You've got me all wrong, my friend. You need. Yes. Get them on their knees. Huh? Yes. Uh-oh. She's got a whip. And yet she tases me. Fuck! Ah, oh, shit. What are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm into that. <laughs> you could step on me any day. This is my reward for talking off to you. I'll do it some more. Hey. Ow. Do you think I was Ow. Oh. Kidding? Give me more. <laughs> Answer me. Uh oh. What? Oh, okay, they're not gonna shoot me. <laughs> they're defending me because I'm a good person, right? Right? Yes, ma'am. Oh. So you work for her, huh? Switch complete. So you can take bullets to the stomach. Ah. What's going on? It hurts so bad. Pretty cool, huh? Bihara switched her senses with you. Oh, this is like uh Prisma Ilya, when they did this to Kuro, so that Kuro would stop beating up on Ilya. What is this? This is what happens when you mess with me. Do as I say, or you'll end up frying in the electric chair. Oh shit! 
like I said. Two days. You say it so confidently, which sounds like you've done it before. Mate! What? what? Apologize to my harem! But they're human. They say they. Does that mean I have a male body, but they're trying to allow me to be gender neutral? Oof. If you're gonna call me a they, at least give me tits. Come on. You better wise up before I end up turning you into Swiss cheese. This music. I was gonna say this music doesn't feel like I'm being shot in the stomach. It's too goofy. Oh, nice. Our dude's got some endurance. You were just about to shoot her before, though, or at least my squad was. Let go of me. That was just all an idle threat, I suppose. Are you crazy? Do you know who I am? Bow to your sensei! Why should I apologize to those hunks of scrap metal? Okay, so the lady who makes the hunks of scrap metal designed them to be, like, mega hot and have amazing personalities. Huh. <laughs> Nevertheless. No one insults my waifu and gets away with it. Okay. Nobody. I actually need to go ahead and wrap up the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely consider checking out Nikkei, Goddess of Victory, on iOS and Android. It's a very fun game, um, whether you go whaling or not. not exactly the most convenient thing Until next time, celebrate your fandom. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy this channel, help us grow by liking, commenting, sharing the video, subscribing to Otaku Daikun, and most of all, smashing that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of our anime discussion, lore, or let's play content. You can support us directly through Patreon, Subscribestar, or our YouTube membership, all of which come with benefits like exclusive vids and early access. As always, celebrate, celebrate your, your fandom! fandom. I want to give a special shout out to all my $10 and up supporters. Video Gamer 75, Steven Elak, Samuel Gersten, Otaku Mom, Jens Bauman, Mystic Samurai 1983, Lord Ormagoden, Freebrick, RNG or Shuffles 1498, Alexis Yukio Gomez Yamato, Johnny Tsunami, Link Pendrago, Brandon Baker, Observer Bellis, Flash Daniel, Matthew McAfee, Game King 352, Caitlin P, Vladimirovna, Succubus Sakura, Normace, Jonathan Padua, The Taz 96, and SF Giants Fan Mike. Thank you all so much.